Hey, so in this video, uh, we're going to continue working on the tattoo app. And yeah, this time we're going to use a uh, cursor. I did plan to use uh, DeepSeek and RuCode, which is an extension with um, VS Code. Or you could probably use it with any of <laughs> these IDEs because it's built on um, uh, Visual Studio Code. <laughs> yeah next uh, let me close this okay so what did we want to do next we have the detail page uh, I believe it, it was the gallery page so actually uh, where's the dread I believe it's main so, the dart. Right. Oh, that's not doing it. Oh, okay, yeah. Wait, how is it? Okay. But yeah, anyways. I do put I did put this code um, on github I mean yeah on github and so I did that in the last video I showed you how to set up git if you missed it and yeah so so we have this drawer here and then we have gallery which I believe it doesn't point to anything so it does give a path but I don't believe that's there so let's go back gallery oh we do have a gallery page but it's empty so I guess we could have clicked on it to see that but yeah the main reason I wanted I wanted to see uh, which file it was um, just to give it context so um, implement the gallery page and or yeah I guess we could tag the page, but I mean, we could just go with that. See what it comes up with. I didn't really plan it out, like <laughs> how I wanted to do this. So I, first thing I saw is they put local images, which see we'd have to set all of this up, and I don't even have local images, so I'll just. Um, I won't reject it, but I will say, give me um, unsplash pictures for now. And so unsplash is a, um, a place where you can gather different images. <laughs> so yeah, that's the images we used on these services. We did do the contact page, right? Yeah. I'm thinking about maybe doing a video where we set up email uh, making it actually work so I may do that with um, the next video so. so it did give us a grid view which it will show all of the images two images a row See, one thing I don't like is when <laughs> everything is on, like, see, like, the each uh, gallery item is within each of the, um, I like it to be in a separate widget, basically. So, it could probably be a stateless widget. So, yeah, they did, it looks like they also yeah they added a full screen image widget so basically when we click on it it will um, open up the image and show it in full screen so we'll do that and then I'll just do shift R to restart it of course it was looking for images which why did they do that if we don't have do we run that Maybe it still did this. Yeah. I mean, we don't need it now, 
but it's fine. So we can check the images or a gallery, which <laughs> these are not actual images, but that's fine. So that's pretty cool. It even has a little animation. See, that's more than you would do with. <laughs> I feel like if I did this from scratch, um, like before AI, I would just make it work uh, first. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the animation is actually the hero. So, yeah, I've never used it for like a full screen, but that's kind of cool. I've always used it when I uh, navigate to another page to say I have, for like example, the services card on the home page. Whenever we click on that, we could make a hero that shows, um, the animates to the next page. What it looks like is, um, it kind of puts it over the transition so it looks smoother you know we can say one and four which is index zero and three I think it's all messed up so actually I'll just close all this because I don't even know oh, okay so the command well I don't know on Mac at least it's command K uh, I didn't mean to do that Okay, command shift K. Um, but yeah, so choose new images. It doesn't really know. I, I think it's just guessing <laughs> based on uh, the memory it has. So or the data it has. Um, choose new images for the first and fourth. whatever so yeah I mean <laughs> we kind of did this fast I don't even know how long it's been but I'll just do R and then uh, I guess I didn't mean to shift R so gallery I still didn't try again I said try again. Um, yeah, you can actually like look online and choose them. But... So this one worked. I'll just make it the same. So. It. Yeah. So I just made the first and the um, second image the same. Because, yeah, this is just the example. But yeah, actually, do I want to do that next? I do want to hook it up to a database. But really, how I want to do that is oh, yeah, we could do it first without writing a dashboard. So I did want to create a web dashboard. Not with Flutter though, with Next.js um, or even Angular. I may do two different videos. I don't know. I just have a lot of ideas <laughs> on how to do all of this. So, yeah. So, what else do we need? Contacts. So, yeah, I do want to do a video where we use the Resend API to send emails. And, yeah, but. Oh, and also, we need another page for a scheduled consultation. That could go to the contact page, but um, <laughs> I want to test out DeepSeek. And so I just want to use a different um, page for that. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and push this code. Uh, Uh, what do we, oh gallery page so this will be available on github and I'll put the link in the description but yeah so if you have any questions uh, let me know and yep see y'all